Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear brothers and sisters Today I'll be sharing an interesting uh, piece of kiswa that has uh, come to us So upon looking at the piece you can see it's um, I would say sort of the word is uh, worn out uh, or damaged Okay, It's obviously uh, compared to the other pieces that we have which are in really good uh, condition with very little damage, this is uh, uh, quite different to that. So if we open it up, we can sort of show you the the full piece and what it looks like. Okay, so this section here is basically just loose thread. Okay, it looks a little bit like hair, but it's not. It's just loose thread. Okay, from here, this is part of the kiss. This is the kiswa, which is actually intact, you can see. And it's actually been folded. So if I turn it over, you can see it's been folded and it has some stitching at the end there. Okay. So this is the front part. And again, from uh, previous videos that I've mentioned, the front of the kiswa should be quite smooth. It should be relatively smooth. It might have a slight shine to it, but it should be relatively smooth. Okay, and if we look at the reverse, or this is actually part of the front as well as you can see, quite closely there, it's really nice and smooth. Okay, if you have a look at the reverse side, you can see it's, the texture is quite rough. Okay, and it's a matte finish on the inside so matte on the inside and it should be slightly a slight sheen you can see if I move it you can see the uh, the sheen in the light um, and the reason why I'm sharing this uh, piece with you is because it has um, something which the other pieces that I have don't now this piece here this is cotton and this they use to stitch the pieces together okay so you can see um, it's been obviously cut but if you have a look at the kiswa itself you can see over here it has a knot there and that knot is used to tie you can see just there it's used to fold the kiswa or to attach it to the other pieces same over here, if you can see over there, it's uh, knotted and you can see uh, it's coming through. It's coming through from here over to this side, okay? So you don't tend to, well, you do you do tend to see this um, on Kiswa, but the pieces that I have, they are um, individual pieces and they don't have this intact. So it's a, it's it's a quite a rare thing to see, and like I mentioned, these are cotton, and the actual kiswa is silk. Okay, that's one unique feature about this. Um, what we know about this particular piece is, let me just uh, focus my camera. Okay, what we know about this particular piece, I don't know what's happening to my camera at the moment. There we are, slightly better focused. Nope. There we are. What we know about this piece is we've not been officially given any information on it, but if you look at the condition that it's arrived, I would most likely say it's a piece that has been damaged. Sometimes when people go to the Haram and they go to Mecca, they will try and rip a piece or tear a piece or cut a piece off, off the, uh, off, of the Kiswa. Uh, from the Kaaba and they try to uh, take it uh, and have it as like a souvenir for themselves. Obviously, it's not permitted to do this when you go to the Kaaba, but unfortunately, some people do. And what tends to happen is if there is a hole in the Kiswa, then there are maintenance people that will come and they will cut the area that's damaged and they will replace it with a nice clean square. And if you ever have a chance to go uh, to the Haram, if you go close up to the Kaaba, towards the bottom, because that's what's within 
people's reach, you can have a look at the Qiswa and you can see it's been repaired several times all the way around because people are unfortunately damaging the Qiswa or it might just get damaged because of natural wear and tear. People are touching it, people are um, you know, putting their hands on, and their palms on top of the Qiswa and naturally it will wear, um, not to this extent, but it will wear and, uh, and, and it will become damaged. And so for these reasons, it is uh, replaced. So um, this is, like I said, the interesting uh, part to the Qiswa, that it still has the thread intact. You can see the size of the thread uh, to strengthen uh, the fold or to seam one end to another end. Uh, as you know, the Qiswa is made up of, of many pieces and they are stitched together with this um, black thread there. So this is the piece. You can see the, the, the size is roughly around uh, the size of my uh, palm okay um, and as i mentioned earlier it's a piece that's folded um, and it still has a scent I, I would say this piece is uh, if you look very closely you can see the scene i believe this is the section from subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al-adim it's like a triangle subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al-adim and this is the scene this is the scene just here, like this. So this is like the edge of the Kiswa. Okay, it's the edge. Uh, anyway, um, something to share and something to uh, ponder over on, inshallah. Uh, Jazakum al-khair for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.